Hello everyone and welcome back. Again, my name is Andrew and I am the 5pm chef. Welcome to my kitchen. If you just watched my pizza dough recipe, well, you came back, so thank you. Um, while I was gone, I got my recipe and everything ready for the challah bread. It's a little bit different. As I say, this is an egg-based bread. It still does have a little bit of yeast. So challah would not be served during the high holidays because it would be a risen or a proofed bread at that point. But again, it's a fairly simple bread to make. It's really, really good. And as I said, for French toast or for bread pudding, just for sandwiches, uh, you can't get any better than this. But today what I want to do is I'm going to make this into a raisin cinnamon swirl bread. So once my dough has proofed, uh, we're going to roll it out, we're going to spread the cinnamon raisins, we're going to roll it up, we're going to proof it again, and then we'll bake it. So this is not my normal 30 minute recipes. This is going to take a little bit longer. The actual getting everything together is going to be very, very quick but it's the time you have to wait while it proofs. So let's get started. Um, and unlike my pizza video, I'm not going to make you watch the machine go. I'll show you as I'm adding everything, but during the mixing process, I think we'll pause and come back. I don't think you want to hear that sound again. Um, I know I don't like hearing the sound, but hey, we're baking and we're cooking and that takes some stuff. So. Here we go. In my bowl, I have already added four cups of flour. To that, we are going to add two. Today, like I said, this is a little bit different from the other one, but not that bad. There we go. Two teaspoons of table salt once again, so there's a little bit more salt in this. We're also going to add one quarter cup of sugar, just regular white table sugar. We're going to add two teaspoons of our yeast. And again, as you see, everything is going straight into the same bowl. Now, in here, sorry, it's a little hard to see, we have two whole eggs and one egg yolk. The egg white, we're going to save. We're going to use that to brush the bread when it's all done. And I also have one cup of water. So what we're going to do, I lied, there is going to be some mixing. Just a little bit, though. We're just going to combine those ingredients. Again, you can do all this by hand, but it will take a lot longer. We're going to add our eggs and our egg white. So as I said, that was two whole eggs and one egg white. We're just going to let that work in a little bit. And now we're going to add our one cup of water. This is going to give me one loaf of bread. Um, as I said, we're going to let it, once it's come together a little bit, which is coming together really, really fast, we're going to let this rise for about one hour, just in a bowl. Then we're going to punch it down, roll it out, put in our cinnamon, sugar, and our raisins. Then we're going to proof it again and then we'll bake it off. So I'm going to pause the video for now. We'll come back once this is neat all together and we'll show you step two. We'll see you in a few. Welcome back and guess what? <laughs> hey, we all make mistakes. I forgot an ingredient in there as I was mixing it up. I saw it wasn't like it was really, really dry, so I went back and I double-checked the recipe. Like I said, I've never made this before, so 
it happens. I forgot to add one quarter cup of melted butter. So I now have that here. We're going to add that into our bowl. And we're going to let that mix up. So, guess what? We all make mistakes. It's cooking. As long as you catch it early enough, you can fix it. So, we've done that. We're going to knead this up. And we'll show you once it's all done. <laughs> we'll try this again. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, I needed that for about 15 minutes in the machine. It's come together. We have a nice little sticky dough here, which we're going to work a little bit more on the board. We're just going to show you now. And there we go. There's our dough. It's nice. It feel. It just feels. It feels. It feels nice and smooth. We're just going to work it a little bit. You'll feel it become less sticky as you work it. I did put a little bit of flour on my board. Nothing much, just so it didn't stick as much. Also, if you have a bread machine, feel free and do this in your bread machine. Now, hala is not traditionally a braided bread, and it's either done with three, four, or six braids. I've never been good at braiding. It doesn't matter if it's hair or bread. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. And as I said, I'm making a swirl bread. So doing a braid on that would be next to impossible, I think. I'd have to do three separate braids, each rolled and filled. It's not worth it. And then also, I'm turning this into French toast. So that's not going to matter. So my bread, it's not feeling sticky anymore. It's come together nicely. While I was mixing this, um, when I noticed I didn't put the butter in, after I had the butter, I saw it was still really, really sticky. So I added another half a cup of flour to this. So in total on this bread, we went for four and a half cups. But once again, it's going to depend on how humid it is, how dry your flour is, uh, all those things. So this has come together nicely. This time I do have a bowl with just a little bit of vegetable oil in the bottom. Just barely enough. And when I toss this around, it's going to coat everything. There we go. And this now will proof just on, on the table, on the desk the counter here, for about an hour or until it doubles in size. So if your house is a bit cold or it's just really cold outside, this might take a little bit longer but we want it to roughly double in size. That means the yeast is doing its thing. And all those gluten strands are forming. So my kitchen's really warm. I'm going to leave that right here on the counter. And basically we'll check back on this in about an hour. Again, for those of you who watched the pizza, the pizza dough video, it's only been about 20 minutes, and this is puffing up really nice. It's not quite double in size, but it'll be there soon. What we're going to do with that afterwards, you know what, can never go wrong with pizza, but today I'm just in the mood for a really nice calzone. So I guess we're doing a third video today as well. So let's let these rise. Let's do what we have to with them. And we'll see you back in about an hour once our challah bread has doubled up. Till then, we'll see you soon. Hello everyone, welcome back. It's been about half an hour and I came back to give it a check, so I thought I'd share it with you. So, as we see, well, kind of see, my pizza dough is like almost doubled in size. It's gonna be it's gonna be great with a calzone later, and the hollow bread we're definitely growing. It's 
not quite there yet. Still got a bit of time, but I can see that it's puffing up. It's definitely getting a lot softer to the touch. So we're going to let that keep going and doing its thing, and we'll come back and check again and see how it's all going. Just thought we'd give you an update. Welcome back, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. While the dough was rising, I was just watching some other of my YouTubers, seeing the tornadoes in Alabama and how scary that was. Uh, Mr. Rich was live streaming it, and being in Canada, I've never seen tornado up close. I've always seen them on TV. That was probably the closest I'll ever see to a live. And it had to be one of the scariest things I've ever seen. So I pray that everyone is fine there. I know it seemed Mr. Rich was safe when he ended his stream. So it's been a little bit longer than half an hour since my last check. But my dough is doing good. In fact, it's all ready to use. As we see here, I'll just pull it over. The dough has doubled in size. It's still firm, but for this bread, this is what we want. So what we're going to do now is just pull this out. And we're just going to work it down a bit. Paula is a very rustic bread, so don't go looking for perfection. Don't go looking for anything special. What you want oh this smells so good, <laughs> is it just to be about the right size to fit in your loaf pan. Not using any rolling pins, not using anything, just my fingers here. I can pull up my pen so I can get a rough idea if we're on the right track, and we are. Okay, now, this is going to seem a little bit weird. We're going to butter our bread. There we go, before we do anything. And this is going to get greasy and dirty because we're using our hands, as you see. You just want to use a softened butter. This is going to help with a couple of things. One, it's just going to taste really good. Two, it's going to help everything bind together. And it's going to give the cinnamon sugar and the raisins somewhere to hold on to. So we'll give a quick little wash up. Well, if you don't like the feel of fat and butter on your hand, Use a brush, use some paper towel, use something, but it's really got to be there. And if you don't want to use butter, you want to use margarine, that's fine. Just try and use a bit less because it just is oil and it's just going to seep out. What I have here is some, brown, is some cinnamon sugar mix that I made. And it's roughly two parts of sugar to one part of cinnamon. And it just smells really, really good. And what we want to do is just sprinkle a fair amount. And some areas get a little more, some areas get a little less. Meh, doesn't matter. What you do want to do though is keep from the sides. Because it'll just make it easier to roll everything up at the end. So we have our cinnamon sugar and it wouldn't be cinnamon raisin bread well, without the raisins. I like using, sorry for the sound of the bag, I like using golden raisins or sultanas as some people call them. They're just a little bit softer They've got a really nice sweet flavor, and I find it just works really, really well in this dish. I'm putting on a lot of raisins because, well, I really I like them. They're good for you. 
If you don't want as many raisins, don't put as many raisins. If you don't like raisins at all, well, don't put them in. I've done this with chocolate chips. I've done this with Nutella. Not with a hala, but with other breads. And it came out really, really nice. Um, if it's around the holidays, you can use different candied fruits. Uh, dry, you know, of course, your dried cherries, dried apricots. All those neon green <laughs> and neon red uh, candy cherries work just as well. But you fill it how you want. Like I said, this is a cinnamon raisin, so that's why we did that. And now we're just going to roll this up. And there we go. Nothing hard about it. This recipe isn't hard, it just, it takes, it takes time. You have to allow things to rise, then you have to let them rise again, like I'm doing here. So I'm just forming it to my pan a little bit. Again, we'll cover with the saran wrap, just like that. I'm also going to put my oven on to 350 degrees. And we're going to let this rise again until, I don't want to say it's doubled in size, but until you can see it's actually grown. Now the longer you can leave this, the lighter, fluffier bread you're going to get. But this is a case where I actually want something a little bit denser. As I say, this will become French toast tomorrow morning. Um, I wish I had it now. It's what I want right now. But you know what? It's all worth it. Knowing exactly what's in there, knowing that it was made with love, and also I know how good this is going to be. So we're going to let that rise for now. We're going to let it do, let it do its thing, and we'll come back once again once it's risen. We'll see you all then. Well, here we are again. This is our fourth visit to this bread, but now it's been in the pan, it's been resting, it's risen. As you will see, it's doubled in size, it's filled that pan so nicely. It looks really good. I can smell already the cinnamon. It just smells so good. Remember when we made this, we used two whole eggs and one egg yolk. Well, right here what I have is just the egg white. And this is what we're just going to brush all over the top. This is going to help to brown it. It's going to give it a gorgeous dark color. You can try and get it everywhere. Make sure everything is nice and coated. But you know what? If you miss a spot, it's still going to taste just as good. Now, one thing that I love on holla bread, and almost all my bread, are sesame seeds. And that is what we're just going to sprinkle some on top right now. Another good reason for the egg. It's going to help stick. But when I make this into French toast now, it's just going to give it that little extra texture. Nice little flavor when those toast up. So, as I said before, we've preheated our oven to 350 degrees. This is going to cook for about 25 minutes, between 25 and 35 minutes, depending on your oven. So, we're going to throw it in right now. <clears throat> I'm 
middle rack, middle of the oven, middle of the grate, want it as close to that center as possible. And there you go. We're almost done. <laughs> it was an easy recipe, but it's taken a long time because of the resting. So I'm going to set my timer. When I hear it beep, we'll come back and we'll do the big reveal. So until then, we'll see you soon. Hello everyone once again. <laughs> I'm still here. We're still working on this bread, except now it's come out of the oven. We took it out of its bread mold. We put it on a wire rack. It's been resting for about an hour. The total time in the oven was 35 minutes. But, you tell me, is this not worth it? Doesn't this just look absolutely gorgeous? It's still a little warm. It's a good two and a half pound loaf of bread. All I know is ever since I took this out of the oven, the smell has been driving me crazy. So I can't wait anymore. <laughs> Let's see how that swirl came out. And of course I didn't cut into it enough. Oh yes, it's been one of those days, but I actually think that's just my my way of figuring out that I need two slices of this. Oh, this is still so hot in the middle. And yes, as you can see, we have that swirl. When I hit that cinnamon layer with the butter and the sugar and the raisins, the smell just filled the room. It smelled great before, but now, oh God. <laughs> I don't know about you, but to me, bread, hot out of the oven, a little bit of butter, the bread's still warm, so the butter is actually starting to melt right away. I just had that calzone from the other video, <coughs> so this is going to be fun. <laughs> Let's try this. It just looks so good. Wow. That might not make it to French toast tomorrow. That just might be eaten with a pack of butter tonight. <laughs> the cinnamon, the sugar, the sweetness of the raisins, that egg flavor pulls through. You can tell there's the extra sugar in it. It's a lot uh, moister bread, but you've got to try this. Honestly, it took no time in the mixer. The ingredients were simple and easy enough. It was just all the, re the needing it to rest and then roll it out and then let it rest again and then bake and to cool. But would I do it again? In a heartbeat. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. This was such a simple bread. So good. Already I'm getting ideas for what else I could roll into this. Uh, other dried fruits, chocolate, <laughs> anything's gonna be great. Anyways, thank you for joining me on my holla journey. Uh, I had no clue if this was going to come out. I had no clue if I was actually going to be able to air this video. Uh, for all I knew, it was going to fall dead. But it is to die for. If you enjoy this type of video, if you like seeing me try new things, if you have questions... Leave me comments. Let me know. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. The more you subscribe, well, the more it just makes me want to do even more videos like this. Three videos in one day. It all started off with just, I was going to do pizza dough. 
but it was worth it. That bread alone was worth every bite. What's left of the calzone is sitting on the stove behind me. That's going to be dinner. This is going to be breakfast tomorrow. And maybe even another video if I feel like it. I am Andrew. I am the 5 p.m. chef. Thank you for spending your day with me. Thank you for coming into my kitchen. And until next time we meet, please enjoy.